Okay, uh, let's see. So now that I've been converted firmly over and uh, over into the controllers work very well for gunship. Uh, gunship. Uh, I haven't even tried that one yet. Uh, I don't think it would actually go very well for me. Uh, controllers work amazingly well. Well, that was a gaff. Uh, controllers work rather well for this game. Uh, let's uh, let's keep going. I immediately get shot. Well, that's fine. That I I tend to see that uh, that helmet is actually a bit of a. No, oh, no, oh no! I'm stuck in the corner. That's the one problem. I don't have the fine control that I did with the. Uh, that I did with the. Uh, with PC control, because like you know which direction you need to go. The uh, controller is just like. Uh, let's see. I will admit, uh, pressing the. Uh... Oh, I guess I just gotta stop mashing the. Uh... The shoot button. I can just press it. It's a bit hard on my index fingers. Somebody was actually giving me shit for that in the YouTube comments uh, when I was playing 20XX. It was like, oh, your poor wrist. You should stop playing games then. It's like, I'm sorry. Repetitive stress injuries are like a serious problem with gamers. Like, straight up, uh, our generation is probably going to have more RSIs than, like, most ever. Uh, like, Shell, Shell has to deal with it. I have an RSI because I fell off a bike. So it's not exactly an RSI. Repeated strain injury. Uh, carpal tunnel, that kind of thing. Um, but like our, our generation is going to have an insane amount of problems with our uh, with our joints and wrists and whatever because we play so many freaking video games. Um, Shell, I can't hear you. Nobody can hear you either. Shell's trying to speak. Well, can't do anything about that. Unfortunately, that's just going to sit there forever. We get... Uh, Stack of cash. You know, stack of cash actually ain't bad. Uh. But, uh. So, like. You know, mashing, mashing a button for, like, hours on end isn't gonna be good for you. Like, you. Humans are not actually made for, uh. For video game controllers. The controllers are made for us, obviously, but, like. When they have those, like, health and safety warnings, they're not really joking about, like, think, uh, like, how bad it can be for your, uh, like, your eyes. And this is something I never really, like, uh, realized, obviously, until I started getting older, and I'm like, oh, yeah, my eyes get tired now. Uh, and, you know, to some degree, this is more of, like, a age thing as well. Um, you know, obviously, the older you get, uh, the more it's gonna be a problem. Explosive decoy, white guan stone. Remind me again, white guan stone is permanent. And it just works like the pale one, right? Could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, I, I've had some eye strain issues over the past year. I actually had to go out of my way to buy like a, a nice new, um, nice new chair because, uh, I had to buy a nice new chair because my previous one was not good enough for my back, and I'm like, hey, these are these are a lot of problems most people probably will just never even think about. Until they get older and then it's too late. Like, apparently I got tinnitus. No idea when that happened. I don't really listen to music that loudly, but I guess I just listen to music a lot. Okay. We get our helmet back. We got a chest, but I don't have enough keys. Last one was, like, uh, real helpful with, uh, just dropping keys on our face constantly. Okay, so I can't afford the white guan stone even if I wanted to. Let's just go over here and buy a key. Because I could use a special gun for this. I'm trying to use, um... Huh. Trying to use the regular pistol is not pleasant. Oh, we also should go looking for, um, 
the uh Oh good. Okay. We should go looking for whatever secrets remain in this area. Got him. Without taking damage. He's, he's usually the boss I'm uh, worst at, but being able to like circle strafe around him makes a massive difference. I guess grab the cash too. You know, I haven't actually uh, upgraded anything for a while. Okay, so we want to go look around for a second. We've got the uh, we got the secret brick. Oh, wander the balloon gun causes you to fly. Really? Oh, you're right. I never seen that. Uh, I didn't notice that. That's actually really helpful. But yeah, I. I it was not immediately obvious because I wasn't exactly watching my feet move. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick uh, cycle through everywhere. We've got the uh, I believe I believe we've got the the thing. Uh, yeah, reveal secret doors. So the brick of cash. Um, so we're looking for like a little gray guy to come out and be like, "Here, dumbass." Yell at me if you see him. There's a secret on every floor, if I remember right. Probably no secret in this one, though. Also, if you get hit with the blue gun, it'll pop and loses all ammo. Mm, all right. Well, that's a massive inconvenience. Seriously? No secret around here? So don't think you get secrets in the entrance. And could it be in here? I'm not I'm not seeing it anywhere. Very real possibility I've just bypassed it completely. Or maybe there's no secret on this floor, but that Let's see, it can it can be in the last room, really. Oh. Didn't mean to use the blank there, but whatever. I'm assuming you can't run into secrets in the boss chamber though. There it is! You're right! Okay, what's this one? Oiled cylinder, reload faster. Ooh, yes. That's that's helpful. Okay. So I shouldn't rely on this gun. It's pretty effective though. But yeah, the fact that I can lose it is a tough deal. Oh, we do have other guns that I can use. Let's try the Rubidine, Mark II. Nope. Never mind. Rubidine is awesome. Let's use... Rubidine, uh, Rubidine is perfect. And we'll just whip out the, uh, the balloon gun when we, uh, when we need to fly. Oop. Let's see. Nothing? Nothing. Oh well, I flee. You cannot hit me. Yeah, this is this is going much better. Much better. 
Or at least I feel like it's going much better. Who knows? It also just really helps to know that there there's much more, like, ammo and loot. Like, straight up, uh, every time I've played Gungeon up until now, it just hasn't felt very pleasant to me. It was always just kind of, like, running out of ammo, uh, nothing new or interesting to, to find. Or if, like, it was interesting, it was kind of garbage. And it feels like, uh, everything that they did in this, this patch, uh, more or less made the game significantly more, uh, beginner friendly, I guess. I still kind of wish that there was like a an easy peasy mode to some degree. But that's just because I'm a I'm a putz. Okay. What is this one? It's a proximity mine. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. All my guns pretty much have Oh, that's the wrong that's the wrong button. That's going to take some getting used to. Okay, there we go. But yeah, it actually also feels like I can dodge things with the controller, which, like, okay, fine. You guys were right. I'll admit it. Holy crap, how? How did I? I have no business dodging that. Ah, I got stuck on the table. Alright, blue chest. I think I'll leave that. I'll be fine, arguably. Angry shopkeeper man, what do you have? The silver bullets. Alright, anybody want to fill me in on what that does? Oh, I'm actually drooling here, this smells real. Shall, why must you make delicious food? I guess this is what I get for starting early. Well, no, then again, this would come out. Okay, extra damage to undead. Huh. That's kind of good. Hello. The AV gun. Some assembly required. Alright, I don't actually... wonder what that does. Let's take a look. Legends tell of a gun that can kill anything in a single shot. This gun doesn't live up to the legends, but it comes close. Okay. AV or AU? Oh, it's probably AU. So I assume the golden gun just does a stupid amount of damage. Okay. And there we go. What do we have? Nope. We still have a reason to continue on. Hello. Okay, so we can get a ballot, a baby good mimic, or a ring of mimic friendship. More things to consider grabbing. Hmm. Let's see, is this my first playthrough? Nope, but I don't know what anything does. Because I am... I am... me. I guess we can look it up. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take a snack break, because there's delicious stuff. the baby good mimic hmm I'm not entirely sure if I want to go with any of these his chest will not turn turn into mimics is kind of helpful. Uh, is it? It's not the contract. It's oh, it's the ballot. Oh, and this also requires a key. Oh, ballot might not be a bad idea though. Okay, well for starters, we had a we have a secret in here. Oh. 
as usual, terrible at this. A little bit of money, and we get the sawed-off shotgun. Alright. And now I have to reconsider my setup. This guy sells a couple of keys. Let's buy him. I'm gonna... Probably go trash this one, save one of the keys for the next floor. Okay, and we want to go over to this one as well. Let's see, uh, Baby Mimic makes a copy of a follower. I know, I just... Eh, not that helpful. Uh, okay, we're gonna fight this boss and then I'm actually gonna have to go, uh, take a short break while I eat foods. So we're up against. Oh, let's see if this guy can burn. Well, this is incredibly easy. Okay, we should probably switch to this though. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just walked right into it. This is one of the bosses I can fight really easily, too. But yeah, nothing nothing here is stupid. Oh, you can even you can even home in on the uh You can even uh lock on onto his uh rockets. Wow, that's incredibly easy to fight. Socket. And we got shotgun coffee. Speed up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy crap. Oh right. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna go get uh I was gonna go get the coolness factor. Cause cooldown cooldown reduction is kinda nice and luck up seems really helpful. The zip at which I move is concerning though, but that that's fine. Okay, so let's get down to the next level. I'm, I'm not doing bad. Not for this one. Probably should have used the golden gun. Uh, now that I was thinking about it, but whatever. It was the bolster. If I hadn't walked into the the shop or the shop, I the shot I would have been golden. Okay, we're gonna take a short break though, because I've got lamb curry sitting in front of me, and I I can't play while I smell it. All right. Uh, let's see. So we've got we've got things. We've got a decent gun, and honestly. Just in general, I'm I'm getting a better feel on how to dodge with this thing. Which is helping a lot. Oh, I deserve that. Oh. Oh, why just switches back and forth between uh, whatever weapons you have? What's the point of this room? There's no secrets in it. Anybody anybody wanna let me know? What the what the point of that room is? Uh, let's see. What games do I regret playing? Uh oh, buh, 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 buh. I mean there's a ton of games that I regret playing, but they're the ones that like don't make it onto the channel generally. There have been a couple recently where I like start playing and I'm just like, oh no. You know, hard pass on this. It's not even it's not even worth my time or interest. Um I don't know if any of you guys remember my friend Crafty Gnomes, a YouTuber that I played with uh back kind of in the ad not exactly the advent of my channel. But uh you know back in the earlier days. And so I used to play with Crafty Gnomes a lot. And we actually lived uh, near each other, so one day I was like, okay, I'm gonna come visit you and we're gonna play games. Unfortunately, he was not ready for that in the slightest, but that's a separate dealio entirely. Um, but so I uh, I brought over my laptop and we we're gonna record a bunch of games and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so we decided to play a game called Squirreltopia. Which is like a platformer. And it was Garbo. It was real bad. It was... I wouldn't say unplayably bad.
Oh, empty. Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess we haven't gotten ammo in a while. Well, this is just an awkward pickle. Uh, I guess I could use a blank in here, but... In retrospect, glass goo-on stones are kind of useless. It'd be neat if the uh, glass go on stone was actually something that respawns on a room uh, room by room basis. But was a much rarer spawn. Okay, hello. Ah. Whatever, we're fine. And some ammo. Uh, let's go back to this sucker. By far my favorite. Yeah, they're pretty bad unless you get a ton of them. Yeah, I figured. Okay. I'm probably just gonna rely on the shotgun for a little while, at the very least. The range isn't very impressive. Uh, but it's kind of a throwaway gun for me until we get something better. Or just a little bit more ammo. Oh! No! R what? They can do that? Oh, it's because it's cause the origin of uh, where the bullets were coming from was, uh, was passing through the wall. I was like, that's not fair. But no, it's because the the Displacer Beast's tentacles. Oh, 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 oh. I must have hit something I, I didn't want to. Have fun with all the burning! Everything is fire! Oh, is this the real Displacer Beast? Is that how this works? No, I don't know. More burning! Burning for the bullet men! But I don't wish to fight! This is actually working pretty well. Okay, and let's go back to the fun gun for a second. I should probably use the golden gun on things. But really, I should probably just use it on the boss. Oh. This is where I came in. Uh, back over here? That's fine. Okay. I wonder if, uh, Flames Flamesy McPanic Man uh, will actually... Uh will actually like set ground bits on fire and I wonder if he's wonder if he's vulnerable to fire damage as well. Probably not, but still. Oh. That's entirely my fault. Burning! Burning for the bullet men. And maybe I should just use the Molotov gun for, for floor clearing. It's actually pretty effective. Let's see. Walk away for a second. Offer a gun to the altar. Live to gun another day. Walk away. I don't know what that does. Uh, let's see. Do we offer it another one? Not really. That was the only gun I really cared to spare. That... that works. Oh, my, uh... Too far away? I have no idea. I will admit, 
I've, to some degree, cornered myself. Probably shouldn't have done that. Whatever. That was fun. The fire is not as effective as I was hoping it would be. Oh, I was hitting the rock. Oh. And unfortunately, I have no sense of smell, so I can I can smell it cooking. All right. Uh, we got this one. It's okay. Right. Keep an eye out, by the way. We might have floor secrets. Floor secrets? Rooms with secrets in them somewhere. I haven't seen anything, though. We. What's that one? Arca arcane gunpowder from the deep. Uh, is that actually worth holding on to? I assume this is for making the the that's needed for the final victory, but I can't do that piecemeal. I have to do the whole thing, right? Like I'm not necessarily against trying it, but okay. So it's a bullet component. Unless you got the prime primer on the last floor, it's worthless. Okay, good to know. Yeah. That's one thing I don't like for the uh, the full victory on this game is like you have to jump through a lot of hoops. But then again, I can't even beat the dragon, so what's even the point of it? You can do it over multiple runs. All right, I'll think about it someday then. Uh. Oh! I didn't know they could do that. And I hit the dodge button, but I guess I hit it, hit it too late. Yeah, still some growing pains on uh, learning how to use this with the controller. Okay, so you can't... Damn it. I deserve these things! I thought it was going to spawn me further back. I'm probably going to die on this floor. That was a handful of critical mistakes to make. I'm getting better, but this is this is what I get for, uh, for playing a game... Uh, it's like, I've cleared this room before. I'm safe. No, I'm a goddamn moron. All right, uh, let's go up here. What do we got? I could get the heart lunchbox. It's pricey, though. We get the full heart and a key, though. Let's get those two. There's a blue chest over here that I can pop open. That's this one. Bouncy bullets, boing. Righto. Okay, we get some junk, can't get into the other one. Dragon is one of the uh, final bosses. Goody. Ooh, Cannon Balrog. I'm okay with him. Until I corner myself, at which point it's not great. Mainly, it just I I need more practice. Well, I'm out of shots for him. Okay. Interesting. Killed him before he even went dark. But that's fine. Wander, would you ever play uh, an older edition of D&D? I have, many times. But honestly, uh, until I finish this campaign, no. And even then, probably not. I don't have a whole lot of immediate uh, compunction to um, to play an older edition of D&D. They tend to, do, tend to be kind of poorly balanced. Uh, okay, everybody keep an eye out for the, the little secret monger. He's around here somewhere. We just gotta find him. I 
I guess we can kind of process of elimination this one. I'm just making it to the fourth floor. I'm actually pretty good at making it to the fourth floor. Past the fourth floor, though. That's not so hot. Because, yeah, we've got the uh, stack of cash. So, realistically, we should have a fair, fair shot at finding him somewhere. Let's see, is there a pen and paper system that I've never learned? Many! Uh, I mostly, mostly was, uh, mostly kept to d and I tried playing GURPS, uh, but GURPS was a weird nightmare. I played a bunch of the, like, kind of alternative, uh, Roll20 systems for a while. They were interesting, but not very good. Here, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna switch to the balloon gun so I don't have to worry about things. That, oh. Um... So yeah, I've, I've tried some of the Star Wars variants. I tried learning how to play the uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, tabletop RPG. But honestly, I just found it kind of unfun. The uh, tabletop game is just about as bleak as the... Uh... Uh, the... The tabletop game is just about as bleak as the... game it's uh, the game the source material I don't know I, I love Lord of the Rings but it is just a very sad universe like nobody's happy in it and if somebody's happy they usually get smacked down for it seriously where's the uh, secret probably not over here be real impressed if it was in this room Why do I think you're misreading questions? If I am, you're not phrasing them right. Alright, so we don't have, uh... We've got to have a secret around here. Wait, can the secret be on the side- on sidewalls and stuff? Because I've just been looking at the- the tops of rooms. I- I was assuming they'd only spawn in on the- on the tops, but if it can be on the sides, too. That makes this a lot harder. You might want to take the powder with you. Yeah, I might anyway. We just have to take it to the smith person, right? It can appear anywhere. Great. Because I know, I, I know we have a secret somewhere here. So as long as there's space to spawn a room. Okay, well, yell at me if you see him around. Because I, I kind of don't want to leave this floor until we find it. But don't bother with the secret. They're not worth it anyway. Really? I got some nice stuff from secrets. At least I thought. I do want to find it. I mean, I've got the, uh, I've got the secret finding item. And, like, I don't know. Be weird not to? It'd be nice if there was, like, a, a UI element that showed up instead. Well, it is starting to seem like I'm not going to find it without wasting an egregious amount of time. Which is a shame, because I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Uh, I was hoping I'd find it pretty quick. Uh, let's see. He's not in here. I don't think he's over that direction. I guess... 
we'll do one last quick pass here, because I don't think you'd be on the other side of that. Yeah, never checked this room particularly thoroughly. Go get the patter. Yeah, I'll go get the patter. Uh, powder's down over here. And I don't think you can find secrets in, in the powder room. And somebody will probably tell me I'm quite wrong on that one, but whatever. Okay, uh, so yeah. If he's here, I don't know where he is. I give up. Because I, I don't want to just be, like, trolling through this room forever. Did I see the secret? I don't know, he might have. It's entirely possible as somebody will point it out in the YouTube footage and I'll be like, I walked right past him. Repeatedly. Cause he never he never spawns in the transitionary rooms. But yeah, if uh if you have seen well, if you do see the secret, please uh try and be particular about which room uh you saw it in, because like I don't wanna spend forever looking for it. Anyway, I'm not finding it. Let's just go down to the next floor. There's a little ghost in the wall, so it's hard to spot. Usually, it was like a gray dude that just kind of hung out there, I thought. Oh. Oh well. Okay. So I think I'm still screwed. But we'll see. I uh, got some health. We might actually, we might be able to pull this off. Main problem is I don't have any particularly... What even hit me? Was it that guy? Did he, did he summon a shot like behind me? He might have. Uh... We're gonna run out of ammo here. Because I don't have any particularly punchy guns. I've got, like, a number of, uh, like, Bernie guns. Bernie? I got a bunch of interesting guns, but nothing particularly strong. Okay, third floor always has a secret that takes you to, uh, secret floor. Oh, neat. Probably not going to, uh, oh, I don't have the balloon on. I got spoiled by that. And I always forget about those floor segments. Okay, so this is gonna suck a bit. I don't have a whole lot of ammo either. Okay, so this gun's this gun's out. Oh yeah, we haven't tried the shock rifle yet. Okay, shock rifle's good. A lot of enemies here. And just a lot of things. Oh, it was that guy. That's why. Okay, so the shock rifle doesn't really have the oomph. But until I find something better. Really does feel like it's not actually doing that much damage here. Fun weapon though. But yeah, four hit, four hits to kill a uh, a regular bullet dude is uh, tough. All right, uh, let's refill this one. Honestly, I just want more of those brown uh, ammo chests. Okay, we're not done yet. There's the brown one. That's what I'm looking for. It it knew what I was asking for. Ah, 
I thought I dodged through that. Yeah, for how little damage this does. Uh, let's see. Well, I think everything else is going to be full ammo. No, that's not. I got to refill every gun. And for how little damage, uh, how little damage this does, it uh, does not have a very high clip capacity. I should probably go back to my my bouncy shooty. If I remember right, this is another one of those special ones that you have to get. Well, I guess I can carry it. Highly unlikely we're going to, uh... Highly unlikely we're going to see the end of this, though. Oh, this guy summons, uh, little, little shot fairies. That would explain things. I had ammo? the other side of that table, but I never actually... Alright, whatever. We'll buy health from the shop if we can... If we need to. Okay. There's one. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Yeah, I can't stun him out of that. Ooh! Ooh, that was scary. Okay. And we get a little bit more cash. Well, I'm gonna be able to afford stuff for the shop, I guess. Keys? Keys are actually not so bad. Where is the sh shop? Up here, I guess. Ugh. I guess let's grab this. Think angles with your gun, your bullets bounce. Uh, yeah. That's a little harder because I'm on a, uh, I'm on a controller. It's a lot easier to do fine measurements with, uh, one of them. Got him. No, Mr. Skeleton Man. I will not do your Fandango. There we go. Alright, uh, it's Charmed Bow, Key Key, and some armor. And I guess that. Could have gotten Stuff Star, Charmed Horn, or the Badge, but I don't know if any of those are any good. Okay. Not a Mimic? What the hell is this thing? Bullet Idol, Vengeful Spirit. Interesting. The Mega Buster. Which does have a synergy, apparently. With what? Oh. Hot Air. Oh, kind of makes sense. Okay, so what's what's this one do? Deals damage to enemies when bearer is wounded. Interesting. So is that already active, or do I have to be more wounded than I already am? Well, that's out of my price range. Let's go. Let's go die. Uh, let's go. Let's go gold gun. Yeah, it is an AU gun. Oh, it's this one. Oh. I can even just kill one or two of them. This is so much easier. Okay, so let's go this way.
No! I rolled into it! Yeah, I'm, I'm not used to my own movement yet. <sighs> well, that's fine. 